Good day, mates. We're out here in the wild outback of Michigan to teach you about the elusive poison ivy. Now, all I have to do is enlist one of the local tribes to help me track down this dangerous plant. There he is there. All I have to do is lay down a trail for him to follow. Just a few more, and the trail will be complete. Now, just to wake him, I'm going to throw this bag of money at him. Oh, oh. Who did that? Come back here, darn kids. Look. I've got the job for you if you want to make some more money. What you have to do is go out and get us some more poison ivy. You can have everything in this bag. How much is in there? $700,000. $700,000? I'm in, Doc. I'm in. But now I can buy some more of those bottles back there. And then I can get a refund for 10 cents at Bushes. Very well. Now yeah. just go out and find us some poison ivy. Yeah! Now our Nate has been hard at work for the past three days gathering up this elusive plant. Let's see how he did. Now, I need to fail to find us any species of poison ivy, so I've decided to go out and find some on my own. Now you can see all the different types of exotic species of this plant. Now here we have the Generalis protactus, one of the most common forms of the poison ivy plant in Michigan. And I just touched it with my hand, which is very stupid. And here we have the Generalis protactus extramalis, one of the most lethal forms of the plant. Here we have the very harmless looking but still very dangerous Generalis Magadactis. Now to demonstrate why you should never touch these plants, I'm going to rub them all over my body. Like so. There you have it. Now we just have to wait one day for the poison to take hold. Well, since nothing happened with the poison ivy, I'm going to show you what would have happened if had I actually interacted with poison ivy. I'm going to dip my arm in hydrochloric acid. Ah! 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 Now folks, this is what will happen to you if you go messing around with that poison ivy. Now there's just one last bit of information I'd like to tell you all before I let you go. And that's exactly what this poison ivy plant looks like. It's shiny, got three leaves, and grows in moist ground. Not growing in the desert. Happy travels, mate!